what's up youtube what's up what's up my name is rabbi Brad jones welcome to my channel yes so today we're going to do something about how to transform your logo into 3d but before that intro okay so welcome back once again so today i'm in my photoshop so the main reason why we're in photoshop first is because we have to create the logo in photoshop before we can take it into cinema 4d so we're going to do the 3d in cinema 4d okay so first let us start 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 st st <laughs> let us start something okay so um i'm going to create an ellipse that is a circle and it is in black okay i will just Keep it in black then duplicate the circle and make sure the middle one is a, li a little bit small change the color to white choose a rounded rectangle and just open it across the whole circle like so so we're going to put the text in the ellipse right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the white ellipse in the middle then scale it up a little bit and the main reason why i'm, I'm scaling it up is because we're going to use this um ellipse to write the text okay so after that you're going to select t for text and make sure the the cursor is right near the edge of the ellipse you see this curved um, um sign then you just click on it and you're going to bring out the dummy text okay so this is the dummy text and that's the lorem ipsum whatever blah 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 so i'm just going to do something like um youtube logo okay so whatever you type is going to go around um, um the circle or the ellipse that you created yes so i'm going to just type youtube logo and see how it's going to work then space bar to make sure we are going into the middle i'm sure my keyboard is making noise but then charlie you have to bear with me then increase the size a little bit yeah okay so um the youtube is done then i am going to make sure so this is what we're going to do we have to type another text down here there should be another text down here so um let's click on the ellipse once again and just select text and click on the edge type logo so it's going to be like youtube logo or let's write it this way youtube logo ink logo inc dot okay so we are done with the text and as you can see here you see the text is in an upside down form so we would have to make sure let's click on enter here to transform then we will select this um, this guy the quick selection guy uh, the path selection sorry so we select the path selection guy then you make sure you're close to the text you click when the icon um, turns to this or the, when the cursor turns to this you click on it and you just drag it to the upper part so I, as you can see we have inverted the logo into the ellipse that's a rounded um, thing going on in there then after that we just have to turn off the ellipse that's the one we created and this is what we have now logo inc but i think we need to add some spacing to it so we just just add a bit of spacing to it real quick and I think it is done. I'm going to reduce the size also because, um, yeah, we don't want it to be as big as it is right now. So after that, I'll just click on the selection and we are good to go. Okay, so now it is done. Let's turn off the ellipse once again and drag the logo ink down a bit and let's just slant it a little bit or rotate it, whatever you're going to call it. Then after that, we have something solid here. I think give me a minute let me straighten the logo real quick yeah okay so it's done we have something here then we we'll move on to the next aspect so this is what we want to do we need to put or insert something in the middle of this text so instead of just the re round rectangle I'm going to select um, the text and write um, type YL meaning YouTube logo so YL real quick and let me change the color to black so you guys can see it where's the y yl okay then i'm going to scale it up to make sure no 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 no. my 
my anchor is somewhere around okay so i just realized um i don't think we're going to need the runner rectangles i'm just going to turn it off then we'll be left with just the ellipse with the yl in the middle and the youtube logo along the other side so after that this is the logo this is what we want and this is what we're going to create the 3d out from in cinema 4d so fast forward let's enter cinema 4d but before that this is where we export what we have here into cinema 4d okay so first off i'm going to um make sure all all the other elements of the logo are turned off all or i mean all the things that we don't need at this moment so i'm going to turn off the yl the youtube the logo and the um, um first ellipse then i'm going to hold control select the thumbnail of the ellipse and click on the lasso tool right click in the middle of the selection then i'll choose make work path so for the tolerance you're just going to leave it at um one then click on okay so we have our work path here so then i would have to turn off the ellipse plus the background so we have just this circle alone then after that you move on to file to export and to parts to illustrator so we just want to have the the work part as a part to illustrator because that's the only way it's going to work in cinema 4d so after that just look for um um, um, um a, 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 a play <coughs> place that you want to put or save the text or whatever you want to save in there yes so i'm going to save it as a leaves real quick then you click on okay so after that you'd want to delete what the the path that you created just now so you're going to move on to uh, the next the next um category near the layer so we have channel then we have path so you're just going to right click on the work path and delete it then come back to the layers and make sure you turn on the second ellipse that's the second ellipse that was in the middle of this guy so then hold control click on the thumbnail and select the lasso tool right click in the middle make work part and turn off the ellipse and as we did for the first one that's the main ellipse export part to illustrator and okay then we're going to name this ellipse so now i'm back into um, um the whole logo i'm done with what i just did so now we're going to open cinema 4d i'm using cinema cinema Cine oh, damn. <laughs> using cinema 4d that's um r14 i have r14 and r20 for some reasons i don't know yet but then let's open r14 real quick so now um our cinema 4d is opened now so what we're going to do next is click on file in cinema 4d and select open so when select on open we're going to move on to the folder where we saved the ellipse and all those things in the work path so we had ellipse just ellipse so we're going to double click on the ellipse and there's going to be this Adobe Illustrator import scale one, set the scale to one and just click on OK. So now this is our ellipse. We have the ellipse in place. So first, when you import the first um, um, work path, you don't have to move it. The main reason why you don't have to move it is because if you move it, then the others coming in wouldn't have to be in place. They're going to be in an offset position and you don't want that. So now let's move on to the next and click on file and click on merge the main reason why you click on merge is because you don't you want to add the others to the um, ellipse that you created just now so search for ellipse so we have ellipse text no ellipse 2 rather then okay you see we have the second ellipse in place then merge again and search for ellipse i um, i save the other as ellipse text select that okay then we have that in place then the last one that's the yl will also join in and that'll be it okay so now this is what we are going to turn into the 3d let's move on so first before before that you should know that we need to make these flat or this work um, um this work path into the 3d and for that we would have to move on to the effects up here 
Yes, we have the cube, we have the free hand, the hyper nerves, and the array, the bend, and the whatever. We need to enter one of these. Yes, and we need to enter the hyper nerves. So you don't, you have to, instead of right clicking, you don't right click, you left click, but you hold it, and all the other options follow. So you just click on the extrude nerves, and you get the extrude nerves right here. So now this is what we have to do drag the extrude nerves on top of the first ellipse. This, this guy then you are, you are going to select the ellipse and drag onto the extrude so you are going to get two arrows one arrow will look to the left side and one arrow will look to the downside so make sure it is looking the arrow is looking to the downside and just leave it like this done so you see as we can see now there's the 3d working in on the first ellipse so we're going to do the same for the other so extrude nerves drop it on top there of the leaves make sure the arrow is looking down and just leave it like that so now it is also there but you won't see it because we would have to make some adjustments to it so i'm going to do that for the other <music> guys so we are done with the um the extrude for all the elements now so this is what we're going to do we are going to um start with the first one that's the first ellipse that we created okay so i'm going to turn the dimension for this or the perspective for this and if you can see this we have basic coordination and objects and caps and we have funk here so we're going to move on to the object and as you can see we have movement zero centimeters for the first one zero centimeters for the second and 20 centimeters for the third so if you want to create like a like a thick type of um, um, 3D, you have to make sure you add more numbers to the third centimeters. So the third one, I'm going to shift it to let's say 174 centimeters, and this is how thick it's going to get. Yes. So with that being said, I'm going to do the same thing for the others, the um, um, second leaves that we brought in. I'm going to make sure the thickness is set to 98 then make sure i drag it in front adjust a bit because you need to see how it looks yes and sometimes this thing can be a bit tricky but then you can just keep moving on and keep moving on okay so what i'm going to do next is um you see you cannot really get the feel of the second it leaves unless you do something to it so i'm going to select the extrude nerves here and move on to the next um, um uh, the next option we have caps here so we have start and we have end select the um, start that's the cap and select filter cap do same for the end even though it's not going to matter at this point because we're only going to see the start and this is how it works the start is the surface here that's this part here and the end is the back here yes the end is the back here and the start is the front here yes so now we're going to add a few um, um, effects to the start so so that um the first ellipse looks as rounded as it can be so as you can see here i've made it very round and there's a lot going on in there and i think it's very cool hey that's pretty good i love the fact that um yeah i mean it's cool then we move on to the next thing so the next thing is going to be the first ellipse that we brought in we're going to do the same thing for it for the start flat cap and the end flat cap as well and make sure we work around the sizing and everything so it is done now then we are going to move on to the next thing we have the ellipse um, for the text here so let me just select them real quick okay so the main reason why i selected them is because you have to select them before you can do the effect you want to do on them so i'll move on to objects now and just make sure i work around um, um how do you call it the text but before that i think i would have to bring the text forward because so before that i'm going to bring the text forward like so yes then i'll extend the thickness for it like this yes so after that, this is what we have now. We are going to add some few effects to it so that the text is going to pop up and look very nice as it has to be in Cinema 4D. Okay. So um, for the caps, I'm going to add filter cap um, for to the start and filter cap to the end. But I'm going to reduce it because we don't want it to be this thick. You see, it's very thick. Let me move on to the YouTube and see 
it says it's very thick so i'm going to reduce the size the for the end we're going to make sure the radius is uh two or i think two is cool then for the um start is going to be two also yes so two for the start and two for the end same thing applies to the lower part and i think we're good to go so after this we move on to the coloring we're going to add some colors to this guy and later on we move on to the um, um to the lighting and everything so let me just bring in the materials real quick okay so here are the materials i have a few materials here that i want to use you see youtube is red so we're going to use red for the first ellipse that's a big one so we're going to take this red and one thing you should know you can drop it on the on on the workspace just like this or control z you can drop the material on the layer side here just like this yes any way any way you want to get it done so after that i want the second ellipse um this one to be white you apply it to the text or whatever you want to apply it to so for this guy right here that's the youtube logo ink i'm going to make them white as well so where are you where are you where are you um yes i'm going to make them white then the yl is going to be red in color so red just like this very simple so the whole idea behind this is you have to make sure you have like the 3d working in there then you can do basically whatever you want to it. Okay, so guys this is basically what the render looks like it is looking very nice very perfect we just have a few adjustments to do but basically this is all i want you guys to know so yeah um after this you can just position or um just make sure you have the angle you want you can you can export or render like this you can render like that you can render like this like this any way you want it to be and yeah so guys, um, thank you for joining this video and um, I'm pretty sure you learned something and I'll do a different video on how to export or like render the whole thing in JPEG or in PNG. Yes, and also in um, image sequence as well. So yeah, thank you for joining and um, subscribe to the channel, like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.